<coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, and hello to those of you that are live. <laughs> Sorry about that. Make sure that this is all working properly here. There we go, that's what I like to see. Hey there, Jim. Thanks so much for joining us today. And hellos to Russell and Christopher as well. Thanks so much for joining us on this beautiful Sunday. Went live a few minutes early, so we are definitely going to give folks a chance to come on in. We are a little bit early anyway, so that's all right. Having a little problem with my backdrop here. Give me just a second to freshen that up. It's gonna work. Just those three show, huh? Okay. Move this over a little bit here, right about there. Thick top loaders out for our preferably dual patch auto. I'd love to see another one of those today. So far, every single legacy box I've torn open this year has had a dual patch auto in it. So definitely like to see that keep up. So we'll go ahead and put this out for that one when we get there. Hey Andrew, thanks so much for joining man. I'm glad you were able to make it. I know things are always hit and miss with you in the clinic, so... For anyone that doesn't know, Andrew is probably the king of my box break group so far. We've had three legacy box openings. He's hit a mini in every single one of them at the minimum. Heck yeah, Andrew, I'm looking forward to pulling them for you, man. This is gonna be super exciting. I don't know if we're gonna find anything as awesome as that Justin Fields Dare to Tear card that we hit last week, but man, I am definitely down. Being as it's a Sunday afternoon, I'm not sure how many people exactly are going to be joining us. I had a ton of questions as to what time we were going live today, so kind of hoping that for every question I got of whether or not we're going to be live, I got a body that's going to be in the room here. I'd like to see a 10 up there this week. That'd be super. We've got 70 plus people in the group. I'd be okay with 7% there, 8% even. Be nice. We are definitely going to give a few minutes, though, give a little bit of time for people to be able to join. I'm going to go ahead and put a notification on the room. Did you guys get uh, Did you get a notification that I was going live, by the way? Hey, hey, Brian. Thanks so much for joining, man. I am so glad you are able to make it. 
We're giving about 10 more minutes for, uh, for people that are in the break, people that are in the group, whatever it may be. We're going to give them about 10 more minutes to pile into the room, and then we're going to start ripping this bad boy open. So if you are watching this as it's already been recorded, you can go uh, skip ahead into the video until you actually see me pick up the box and start tearing open. Uh, a lot of times we'll do a little bit of chit-chat, but once I start tearing that, that's how you know we mean business. So... Uh, if you want to skip ahead, feel free. If you want to hear our awesome chatter, stick around. The uh, oh, I gotta go. I gotta check names. The gentleman that hit the dare to tear card uh, got a couple of teams in this break as well. And I want to question him as to what he did with that Dare to Tear card. Larry, thanks so much for joining us again today. Glad to see you. Oh, as I'm going to check listings, I just got a notification here. Looks like somebody grabbed a spot in the prestige break coming up. Love seeing that. Let's see which team it was. Pittsburgh. The Pittsburgh Steelers are officially off the board for our next break, which is going to be a prestige team break. Uh, I said that. Now i got to double-check which one actually ends first, the team break or the random break. I'm not, not positive. Andrew, you're the one that snagged the Patriots for that break, right? Awesome, Brian. So let me explain the basics for you for the way that we're doing this particular draft, or this particular break. Uh, there are two styles of breaks that I do. One is team-specific, and one is random. So for a team-specific break, what we've done is we've got the box here. Uh, the boxes are each guaranteed to have different things. I'll go over all of that here in just a minute. Uh, essentially what we do is we post a listing for every one of the 32 NFL teams on eBay. Uh, actually, I've, I've got it up here, so let me just show you. Essentially what we do, I'm going to turn this sideways, make it a little bit easier here. There we go. Oh, that ain't, can't do that while we're live. Okay, so ultimately what we do is we post each team up here as a box break. You know it's a team-specific break because you've got your team name listed right there. Otherwise, it would just say random team. Uh, people come in, they bid on the team that they want, or they bid on a couple of teams because they're low cost, whatever the case, whatever the, the case may be. Uh, once the auctions close up, then we come back here into my office in Northwest Tucson, Arizona. Welcome to Michael and Nathan and Trapper Jet. Thanks so much for joining today. Uh, Brian, then once all of our auctions close, we come back here. We're going to rip this bad boy open. I'm going to open them up pack by pack. You're going to see every single card that comes out of the box. We're looking for hits. As you can see here, you have a guaranteed two autographs come out of this box. Now, aside from the two autographs, we are also looking for six Optichrome cards. I'll point those out once we hit those. We are looking for four numbered parallel cards. There are 12 additional inserts and 32 rookie cards. Everybody knows who we're looking for. Everybody knows the name of those big name quarterbacks. Maybe that tight end that we hit on an autograph a couple of weeks ago. But ultimately, we rip this bad boy open. Everybody sees what they get. Then I spend the night stuffing envelopes and singing tunes and getting all these cards out within the next 24 to 48 hours. So ultimately what you're hoping to do, Legacy right now, uh, let me check. Let me just pull up eBay real fast here. Let me see what Legacy is going for right now. Pull up uh, ending soonest here. Uh, Panini Legacy, these boxes right now are going for approximately $200 or so on eBay. It looks like a few auctions 
uh, hitting the 210 and 212 mark. But So what we're looking to do, what every person here is looking to do, is instead of spending 200 and some dollars on a box, they want a specific team, they want their team, they pick their team, and for a smaller dollar amount, you get your team, and you don't get all the other base cards, all the other teams, all the other players and whatnot that you don't necessarily care about, maybe that you're just not interested in. But the big deal is to keep your price low and to hit one of those bomb, bomb autographs. If you have time, Time, take a look at the last video that we have posted from last week. It's the same type of box, Panini Legacy. They have what's called a case hit. A case hit means that in one case, which is 24 boxes, there are only one of those cards in it. Last week, we brought up two Legacy boxes out of a 12-box case, and wouldn't you know it, we hit that awesome case hit Dare to Tear card. We looked it up on eBay. We found sales ranging from 250 all the way up to $500. So we got an amazing card hit. Uh, it was the Chicago Bears, if I remember right. They sold for around $20 or so. So instead of spending $200 to get that $250 to $500 hit, somebody spent probably $20 or $25 and got that $250 to $500. $500 hit. So saving money is the name of the game. Uh, definitely ripping open packs. I, if you know anything about me, I love treasure hunting. I love to do a little bit of gambling. Uh, I also noticed we are after 5 o'clock. We got 10 people in the room. I definitely want to thank everybody for joining us today. Brian, if you have any other questions along the way, or of course if anybody has questions along the way, don't hesitate to shout them out. That's why we're all here. I want to show you a quick listing. These are all the folks and the teams that you got. Hey, Sam, I'm glad you made it. You do see here we got a couple of folks with some multi-teams. This Skyhawk 1028 went for a few of the lower-costing teams, which is definitely a strategy here. My boy Andrew picking up the New England Patriots and a couple of side dogs here. Nady Nate's got a couple big name looking for that Tampa Bay Tom Brady. And we got a bunch of individuals, not to mention, everybody's got the same chance, even though some people got more teams, you never know exactly what we're going to find. So let's find out. All right. Just give me two seconds. Let's get the right stuff pulled up here. If anybody missed it earlier, we have two autographs. We're looking for four Optichrome cards. That's typically four regulars and two minis. Four numbered parallel cards, 12 inserts, 32 rookie cards, and my own personal love in every single package, all right? Everybody's here. We're up to 12 people in the stream. My boss, Ryan, is here. My boy, Sam, is here. Let's have a little fun, folks. Here we go. Uh, Brian, I think you came in right after I mentioned I've opened three of these legacy cards so far this season and all three of the boxes have had a dual patch auto. Uh, those are a little bit, I'd say they're a little bit on the rare side, but watching card breaks this year, they seem to be a little more prevalent. It seems like more companies are tossing them out there. So I'm kind of hoping that we get an awesome, awesome dual patch auto. Last week, it was Davis Mills, new third round pick quarterback of the Houston Texans. Beautiful dual patch auto card. I was super disappointed that I didn't get to keep it, but I was glad that I got to rip it. And the guy that won it was super happy for it too. It was a real heavy Houston Texans box. Uh, we actually hit the Texans dual patch auto was Davis Mills. The uh, regular auto was a rookie auto. I'm struggling to find his name right now. It's the wide receiver that the Texans took in the third round. And then we had two mini cards. One of them was numbered to 25, and it was David Johnson of the Houston Texans. We also had three or four rookie cards in the box. It was crazy. The whole box should have just had a Houston Texans logo slapped on it and my name on there, but... It's okay. Hey, that's part of the fun. All right. Hey, hey, thanks very much, Eric. I'm glad you were able to join us today. Oh, yeah, Larry. I was super excited to see a few uh, new names as well as a few repeat names. So I'm just, I've been waiting. I really wanted to crack this bad boy open last night, but I figured it was better to give myself a little bit of time training for a new job at work. Uh, it's been taking a lot of my brain power lately. So probably what we're going to see from now on is going to be breaks happening ending Friday or Saturday and then happening on Sunday. And that's going to be at least until football season. Once football season starts, we're more than likely going to see my break switch to a different day probably Saturday but we'll see what happens all right last calls we are about to rip open keep in mind folks 16 packs per box eight cards per pack and occasionally 
Like you see that one here, that one's a little fat. That one's a little fatty fatty. Let's see here. This one looks a little prego to me, so we're gonna go ahead, we're just gonna leave these three for dead last. They're gonna stay right there on camera. No worries about that. Those three are gonna be last. Hopefully we got a dual patch auto, or heck, maybe we'll get lucky and get two of them, huh? Here we go. Everybody, I wanna thank you again for joining us today. Whether you're a repeat customer of Prophecy Box Breaks, whether this is your first time, you are always welcome to come back. Here we go, let's see what we got. Now every pack has the same process, uh, same order, so to speak. So you're always gonna start off with this product with a couple of Legends cards. So we got Steve Largent, Seattle Seahawks. We got Jordy Nelson of the Green Bay Packers. Then we're gonna come into a couple of base cards. Excuse me. <clears throat> you got David Montgomery. We got J.K. Dobbins. I accidentally showed that one, but we're going to put it to the back. I like to push those hits. Oh, it's a mini, so instead of putting it to the back, we're going to go ahead and pull it up. I don't like those falling. I don't want to risk any damage here. So we're going to set this bad boy down. What do we got? Ooh, that is a mini Legends. Mike Vrabel. Hold on. Let me focus here. There we go. That is beautiful. That's a nice Optichrome mini. And... 44 of 75. Andrew, did you hit? Andrew, oh my god! Every box we pull, Andrew hits a mini. Alright. I apologize, I neglected to pull out some soft sleeves. Give me just one second to take, get out some pennies here. Oh man, Andrew, I can't believe you hit another one right off the bat. First hit. First swing. Andrew's got a home run. Andrew, I apologize. Uh, because I've been having some difficulties getting more legacy boxes, I have not invested in the uh, mini sleeves or the mini penny, uh, excuse me, the mini top loaders. So uh, you are still going to be receiving these just like before in the standard top loader. I hope that you're all right with that, buddy. Uh, if I'm able to get, say, a case of these or something in the future, I will definitely invest in the appropriate size sleeves so that you have them for all your minis down the road. Oh, Larry, you got both minis in that? That's crazy. All right, so there's hit number one. That's an Optichrome Mini. Hey, I do my best, Andrew. I certainly, I know the first couple of box breaks that I got into, I was super disappointed. I had cards that showed up, they were bent, or they wouldn't at least put a top loader in there so that you had, uh, you know, something thick to work with, something, something to hold on to things. Uh, not everything's going to show up on camera because I need an actual camera that's going to be wide here, but we'll get there. We'll get there. All right, our base card here was J.K. Dobbin. If I, uh, if I didn't mention that, we got a little excited. We got a flashback insert that is George Kittle of the 49ers. And then every pack is going to end with two rookie cards. We got Micah Parsons and Kyle Trask, our first first round pick rookie well, it is a base card, that's still a rookie card. Mr. Tom Brady, old man winter, goes down with the bum knee this year. Guess who's throwing the ball? We'll see what happens. Pack number two. Ooh. There's our other mini. Poking out of the pack. Now again, I don't want to risk damaging these, so we are going to go ahead and pull right to the mini. That is another Legends Optichrome Mini. This one's Charles Woodson. Very nice, very nice. This one is not numbered. Sorry about the focusing issue here. Trying to work on that as we go. Let me get this one sleeved up. That's a hit for Oakland. Excuse me, Las Vegas. One of these days I'll remember that the Raiders are in Las Vegas. That is a hit for Skyhawk, 1028. Uh, I haven't seen anybody list out as Skyhawk, so I don't think they made it, but I'm sure they will be more than happy to catch it on the live feed. Or the, yeah, the live feed, the replay. <laughs> oh, boy. It has been a long day. 
There we go. Come on. There we go. Mr. Charles Woodson. Oops, got a tap on the phone, not the card. So that is both of our minis for the box. So let's go back to our pack here. We got Legends, Lance Briggs, and Joe Thomas. Base cards, Darren Waller, DK Metcalf, and our Decade of Dominance, Joe Montana. Rookies are Demetric Felton and Elijah Moore. Pack number three. Yeah, been a real nice box so far. Can't complain. Legends, Dante Hall, Emmett Smith. Bases of Jonathan Taylor and Christian McCaffrey. Ooh. <laughs> three packs, three hits, boys and girls. What do we have? What do we have? Let's we'll set these right here. Here we go. Here we go. Rookie. Diami Brown. Running back. Opticrome. Woo. Not numbered. Diami Brown, we had to look him up before. I want to say... Running back, uh, I want to say San Francisco, but I think it's the Jets. Uh, Sam, would you uh, would you check that for me while I sleeve this bad boy up? I think he's a sixth round pick. Washington football team. There we go. A hit for the football team. Yeah, I know we hit uh, we hit something for him a couple of weeks ago, and we had to look him up. Diami Brown, decent autograph. I mean, at least there's a D and most of a B. I'm kind of picky when it comes to autographs. I think some guys are lazy. What do we got in the rest of this pack? I think we popped right to it, didn't we? Jack Ham for the Steelers, Decade of Dominance insert. Our rookies, Kyle Pitts, first round pick. And Marlon Tuapulotu. Whoa. Tuapolotu. My mouth kind of ran away with that one. Base cards again were Jonathan Taylor and Christian McCaffrey. Yeah, me too, Sam. Well, I'm I'm a big fan of the artsy ones, so if you can't read it but it's got a lot of swoops and loops, I'm pretty happy. Trevor Lawrence's autograph, I've seen some absolute beauties, and then I've seen a couple where you can clearly see a T and an L, but it's just like a little Murr. So you could tell his hand got tired halfway through. <laughs> Pack number four. Legends, Charles Haley and Heinz Ward. Base of LaMichael Perrin and Lamar Jackson. And we've got our next Opticrome is a rookie card. Oh, there's a mouthful. Jeremiah, Jeremiah Owosu Koromoa, formerly of the Fighting Irish. That's a beautiful Opticrome. Dropped him, sorry. We'll sleeve that up in a moment here. Rookies are Samuel Cosme. Well, we got a For the Ages insert for Kurt Warner. Very nice. And our other rookie was Sage Surratt.
Second round pick for Cleveland. That's a rookie sleeve. Thank you very mu much to my backups here. Hey, hey, Lee. Well, thanks for joining us. Couple of hits down. Still waiting for plenty of them. We got four packs down. Moving on to pack five. Legends, Michael Strahan and Eric Dickerson. Very nice. Hey, Ruby, thanks so much for joining us today. We got Aaron Donald base. We got something in here. So we're going to go ahead and check this next one. Then we're going to pull from the back. Stefan Diggs. Rookies here. We have, well, there's the base rookie for Diami Brown. And Kenneth Gainwell. Familiar with the name. Not sure I can tell you about the, the team on that one. And here's going to be one of our inserts. Perhaps one of the numbered parallels. Ooh, Allen Robinson the second. That is a red parallel. And if we get a good focus there, 238 of 299. Thank you very much, Sam. I think that was everything. Oh, we did have another Amari Cooper base there that I missed. Pack number six. There we go. There's the man. Legends card, Steve Young. My favorite player growing up. Second legend is Reggie Bush. Base, David Johnson of the Texans. Calvin Ridley. And Jared Goff. Rookies, we got Jamar Chase. And Elijah Molden. And our next numbered parallel. Oh, very nice. For the ages, Lamar Jackson. Number 66. Come on there. There we go. 66 of 100. That is a for the ages green parallel. Next hit's gonna require me to open a box of top loaders, so give me just a second. Let me get that out of the way here. I'm gonna open a box of rookie top loaders as well. I apologize. One moment. While I'm doing this, Brian, let me go ahead and answer the second half of your question from earlier. You asked about the process. We also do a random style box break here where the uh, teams end up being a little bit cheaper because everybody pays the same amount. Uh, everybody buys into however many spots they want, and then we randomize the teams for each spot. So for those, 
You don't really know what team you're going to get until you get here. We do the randomization right before the box break. You're kind of hoping to be the lucky guy that pulls Jacksonville or, you know, whoever pulls the fire out of the box itself. But the randoms can be really fun, too. Seems like people tend to like one or the other or kind of have a preference towards one. Uh, most of the people in our group... Uh, seem to like the team specific boxes, but I really like doing randoms as well just because you can get in a little bit cheaper So I tend to have one of each going at a time All right, we got four we got seven here and remember we got three fatties over here This one feels a little fat we're gonna put it in the fat pack pile Uh, uh, Brian Jacksonville because they had the first overall draft pick for Trevor Lawrence that is the autograph that literally everyone on the planet is after being as they believe him to be some type of a generational quarterback talent uh, we've had a, a really big Justin Fields hit last week that everybody was really really happy with but um, Jacksonville is kind of everybody's go to right now uh, Larry, I believe, let me, let me pull up, I'm pulling my face, or my, um, my eBay real quick here. Random team, uh, box is up online right now on my eBay page. Uh, we are moving on to the next product because Legacy has proven a little bit difficult to get a hold of. So you're looking at $6.75 per spot with the typical three twenty five dollars shipping. So you're looking at an even $10 per spot. The uh, Panini Prestige boxes do not guarantee an autograph. So I wanted to make sure and keep the prices as low as I can. You do get a lot of awesome cards out of it. And uh, when autographs hit, from what I've seen in boxes, they are fire. But since they don't guarantee one, I try and keep the rate down as much as I can on those. There is also a team-specific hybrid box up. Uh, uh, blah, 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 excuse me, getting tongue-tied. There's a team-specific Prestige H2 Hobby Hybrid box that is up as well. Uh, one of those is going to end next Friday. One of them is going to end next Saturday. And then next week on Sunday, we're going to do very similar. We're going to break one at, uh, I, don't, I don't remember if I listed noon or 1 o'clock for the first break. And then the second break will be 5 p.m. Again, add two hours if you're Central Standard Time. Um, and we're going we're gonna to do both of those on the same day, just with a couple hours in between for me to stuff envelopes and get everything ready. Next up here, Legends back, Terrell Davis. And Sean Alexander, two studly running backs. Base cards are Mark Andrews, Michael Pittman Jr., and Teddy Bridgewater. Insert, timeless talents, Russell Wilson. That is a non-numbered insert. Rookies are Jalen Waddell. And Caleb Farley. Looks like nine packs to go. I think I got four of them in the fat pile. Yeah, we do here. Okay. You'll find Brian, especially being new to this, the manufacturers. See, what you used to do is you'd go into the hobby shop and you'd say you wanted to buy four packs. And then you'd look through the box and you'd find packs that looked like this. See, and you'd buy these because they had autographs, they had jersey pieces, they had something awesome and they were so thick, and these little ones got left on the shelves. So eventually, the makers got smart and they started putting in, uh, everybody's got a different term for them, I've got some colorful metaphors that I use for them when I'm not live on YouTube, but uh, we call them filler cards, they're just blank, they're thick, they're meant to add weight, and they're meant to fool you so that you have to buy more packs. Dan Marino's our legend here, along with Ken Anderson, so we got two QBs. Next up, Roby Anderson, Jerry Judy, and Josh Allen. Ooh, look at that, we hit that Generations insert. This is one of my favorites. Uh, we hit the other one already, and oh, actually I think we hit this one a couple of weeks ago. So you got J.J. Watt of the Houston Texans on the left with T.J. Watt of the Pittsburgh Steelers on the right. Why, oh, why Derek Watt is not on this card, I do not understand. However, oh, I hoped it would be numbered. I'm sorry, it's not. 
So this is one that we'll be randomizing at the end of the draft, unless I don't think the same person has both teams. Let me check. No, they did not. Okay, so we'll be randomizing this one at the end of our video today. I'm going to go ahead and set this aside for the time being. For the remainder of this pack, we've got our rookies of Jamie Newman and Pat Frymuth. And Sam, thanks very much for jumping on both of those links for me, pal. I appreciate that. Angelo, thanks so much for joining us. Yeah, it definitely would have would have been great to have all three of them. It doesn't happen that you've got three of them in the league at the same time anyway, let alone family members. So, Legends out of this pack is going to be Brian Dawkins and Terry Bradshaw. Awesome. That is a beautiful rook, uh, uh, Legends card. Base cards here, we've got C.D. Lamb. Matt Stafford, formerly of the Lions. And Baker Mayfield. We're going to pull from the back. Kadarius Tony. Hey, hey, we've got a base rookie, Trevor Lawrence. First overall pick of the draft. Very nice. Still got more chances. We still got an opportunity to pull that Trevor Lawrence dually patch auto. What do we got? What do we got? We got a green insert for the Chiefs. That is Tyreek Hill, number 33 of 100. That's nice. That's two numbered to 100s out of this box. Come on. Doesn't want to go on a penny sleeve, and I don't want to damage corners. There we go. What do I do with those? There we go. One more look. Okay, give me just two seconds here. Put our baker away. Legends are Marshall Falk and Donald Driver. Very nice. Oh, oh, I saw an Optichrome. We got Josh Allen from the Jaguars. <laughs> and we got a Russell Wilson. We're going to go ahead and pull from the back. Rookie, Rashad Bateman. And Carlos Basham Jr. Maybe we have an insert back here. We sure do. That is a timeless talent. Randy Moss of the New England Patriots. Ooh, that one gave me the shakes. What do we got here? Upside down. Someone from the Oregon Ducks. We're looking at Penne Sewell. Very nice. Not only a first-round pick, top 10, best offensive lineman in the draft, projected anyway. And these Optichrome cards are beautiful. That gets a rookie sleeve.
Man, every time I'm packing one of these cards in these sleeves, I feel like I'm packing a pack of cigarettes. Ugh, what a habit. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Pretty sure we showed this. Russell Wilson, just want to make sure the base is out there. We got two more of the little ones. Legends. Kurt Warner again. Very nice. This time with the Rams. And Tony Gonzalez. Ooh, that's pretty. We got Cam Akers base. We got Austin Eckler. And Zeke Elliott. We're going to go ahead and pull from the back. Jamar Jefferson, rookie. Mac Jones, very nice. Slot for the New England Patriots. And this, I believe, yep, this is going to be our fourth numbered parallel. I don't think I've seen one of these yet. It is a yellow Legends parallel. Sean Alexander, and that is 86 out of 150. Yellow parallel. That one really makes the card pop, too, with the Legends background. And that's the first Sean Alexander hit I've had this year. All right. We're going to open the last of our thinnies, and then we've just got a couple of fatties left. Even this one feels a little thick. I think anything is possible in these packs here. We could have four fillers and our dually right here. Legends, that is an old one. That is a Mike Ditka. Wow. That's a nice legend card. Yeah, dude is so young you wouldn't ever recognize him. Along with Ditka, we've got a Tiki. Kenny Galladay starting off our bases here. Robert Woods. We're going to pull from the back. Trey Sermon. Jeremiah Owosu Koromora. We got an insert. Flashback. Julio Jones, formerly of the Atlanta Falcons. This is the last year we're going to see him printed on Falcon stock. Crazy. I cannot believe that they traded him. But then I found out that they couldn't sign their draft picks without offloading him. So I guess you got to do what you got to do when the, uh, when the dollar man makes poor decisions. We've got an Optichrome hiding back here. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. Under the lights. Zach Wilson. That is a beautiful hit for the Jets. I've said it once in probably every single break we've done. This is the man that I believe will be the best quarterback out of this draft. He'll have the best season. He's going to win the most championships. This guy is going to, I think, just blow Trevor Lawrence's career out of the water. But 
We'll see what happens. Either way, that is a beautiful hit for the Jets. Let's get this bad mama jama in a rookie sleeve. That is beautiful. It's another one I wish was mine. All right. Fat packs. Uh, let's see. Let's, uh, what the heck. Let's just do them backwards. Let's just see what happens here. Good luck, everybody. We are looking for that last auto. Hoping for a dual patch auto. Heck, it'd be nice if we'd hit two bonuses here, but we'll see what happens. It's been a while since I've had an extra hit in a box, but we all know what happens from time to time. Starting us off here, we've got a Legends, James Harrison. And Deion Sanders in the Falcons Uni. Our bases are going to start off with Tyler Lockett, Allen Robinson, we've got an Opticrum, Kellen Mond, the man that should have been a Texan and instead is a Viking. <laughs> Sam hates it when I say that. We'll sleeve him up in just a moment. We do have a flashback insert for Derrick Henry. Rookie cards are Tylen Wallace. And JC Horn, another first round draft pick. Say what you want, we've definitely got our fair share of first round draft pick rookies. Kellen Mond, while he's not a first round draft pick, I'm going to go ahead and put him in a rookie sleeve for you. This is a real nice card. Real nice Optichrome insert. There you go. Oh, that's still, I want just is not going down. There we go. I feel like I should have some Jaws music or something in the background, some slasher music right before you come around the corner and get murdered. Some low-key music right before Miss Minutes popped up on my screen and almost made me wet myself. I'm glad I was the only person in the house because I screamed so loud. It was preposterous. If you don't know what I'm talking about, when this is over, go order Disney Plus and then watch Loki and then come back and say thank you. Three packs left. Our third to last pack. Woo, I think we found our hit, boys and girls. We got a Legends card, Tory Holt. We got the Tackle Machine, Ray Lewis. Ooh, guy that I know. Oh, wait, that's a Justin Herbert. Very nice. I don't know why I thought that was a Philip Rivers card. Weird. I was going to start talking crap. Well, Diaz, Nathan, we got you that Herbert at least. We got a little piece of the pie. There's another hit in here. Looks like a dually patch to me. We got a Dak Prescott. And we got a Jalen Rieger. You know the drill. Pulling from the back. Rookie. My man, North Dakota. Trey Lance. Don't personally think he should have been drafted in the first round, but we'll see what happens. Hopefully, he can carve out a nice little career like uh, Carson Wentz did. May not have been the greatest, but it's kind of showing that uh, that NDSU kind of needs to be taken seriously as a as a football organization. But you know, only people like myself and Sam who are from around there are familiar. So. We um, And uh, even though we're not doing it right now, don't worry. You're definitely going to see all of the first-round picks are going to be sleeved and in rookie card top loaders. All of the second-round picks go in top loaders as well. Some of the later-round picks that uh, you know have, have, uh, have some hope to their career, those get top loaded as well. So I know that we're not seeing that. I didn't, uh, I didn't load that Trevor Lawrence right here in front of us, but that definitely will be done. Uh, next up, rookie Patrick Sertan II, speaking of first-round picks. 
Looks like we've got an insert. This is a nice pack. That's the Generations insert. That's Jason Kelsey of the Eagles and Travis Kelsey of the Chiefs. That is not numbered. But again, unless the Eagles and the Chiefs are under the same banner today, I don't believe so. No, they are not. So we'll go ahead and set that off the side. We'll be randomizing that one at the end. And with that in mind, it is time. We've got our hit of the day. Here we go. Oh, it's a spacer. It fooled me. It fooled me. I thought we had a little color there. I thought I saw a little brown on the side. Well, there you go, Brian. That's that's your first football pack tease. When you're in the hobby shop, you take this and you throw it at the guy across the counter because he shouldn't have given you this pack. Just like in Blackjack, it's his fault that you didn't get the hit. <laughs> Ooh. This one feels fatter. We're going to open the, the thinner of the two ladies here. And just like before, even if you look at it, you think you got that awesome hit, but that kind of looks like a spacer to me. Two packs to go. We got a legend, Thurman Thomas, to start us off. Right next to Randy Moss, legend. This one from the Minnesota Vikings. I just realized that it wasn't the same one we pulled before. Base, DeAndre Swift. Tyler Boyd. That's Keenan Allen. And back to the back. Back to the back of the pack. Rookie, Jarrett Patterson. Chubba Hubbard. I think it's actually Chuba, but Chubba just sounds better, so. Poor guy's gonna be called Chubba the rest of his life. We have an insert, Malcolm Butler of the Patriots for the ages insert. Very nice. And what do we have? What do we have? Oh my god, I'm so excited. It's just a spacer. Ah, oh, it's a spacer. But the fun thing is... You're sitting in the hobby shop, and you see that guy go, oh, it's a spacer. You reach out, and you buy that pack as fast as you possibly can. I mean, that was me, anyway. I was that guy. We are guaranteed either an auto or that thing that we don't want to say. And I'm not going to say it until afterwards, because nobody wants it to happen, and there is no way that is that. That is definitely... A relic. One hundo percent. Congratulations to somebody. Congratulations to everybody else for their hits today. Before we polish this last pack off, I definitely want to thank everybody for joining Prophecy Box Breaks for yet another awesome break today. Keep in mind, we do have two breaks up on the, the uh, up on the eBay for next week. Uh, both a random team listing and a team specific listing. So grab them while you can. A couple of teams have already come down off the board through Buy It Now. Oh, totally, Sam. Yeah, I was the guy that would buy the last two packs and then run to my car and open them at home. <laughs> Legends for our last pack are Javon Curse and Dwight Freeney. Definitely two beastly pass rushers. We got a Joe Burrow. Darius Leonard, one of my Georgia Bulldogs. Oh... There wasn't another rookie card like I expected. Our second hit is the rook card. Oh my goodness. Wow. Ah, uh, wow. That is, I'm going to have to look up what exactly they call that. That is a cracked ice. Look at that beautiful Florida Gators insignia. You got 
orange. You've got white, gold, white, and more blue. Oh, it's a swipe auto. Oh my goodness. What a short print. Two of five. Wow. That is absolutely amazing. What a hit. Kadarius Tony, 20th overall draft pick for the New York Football Giants. Wow. Wow. Okay, let me, I'm going to set this down for a moment because I'm starting to shake and I don't want to drop anything. Let's finish off this pack real fast. We do have a For the Ages insert, Mr. Derek Brooks from Tampa Bay. And we do have two rookie cards, Terrence Marshall Jr., and Greg Russo. Let's take a look. I'm going to pull up this box. On Cardboard Connection. I, I can't, that is such an amazing pull, especially, especially after we pulled that Dare to Tear card last week. Ugh. Oh my goodness, I'm just overcome. Okay, what is this called? Let's see, we're looking for Kadarius Tony, rookie set. Uh, it's not premium penmanship. It's not a dual patch. It's not silver. Huh. So the list I'm looking at only shows futures coming in dual patches. We said this was numbered to 10, was it? Numbered to 5. Wow. Looks like... A pink diamond parallel. That is what it is called. A pink diamond. That's got to be a. Oh, that's got to be cracked ice. The way that, the way that it shimmers. Pink diamond, cracked ice. Futures, Kadarius Tony, and that might be the sickest patch I have ever pulled myself. And since I hate it when people touch my patches on videos, although uh, it might look like it, I want you to be aware I'm definitely keeping a good inch away from your card here. This is a phenomenal pull, and I'm glad that I went out of my way. Uh, for those of you that hit a couple of these awesome ones before, uh, when I first opened these boxes, I didn't realize how thick these duly patch auto cards were. I mean, let's, let's show you to a newcomer. Look, look at the difference in a regular card and how thick these are. You can't even put these in regular top loaders, so I was actually having to go back through my cards and pull a couple of my cards out of these big, thick top loaders so I could send out these dually patch auto cards. Might not be a dual patch, but that is a sick, sick solo patch. So uh, anyway, I did actually go ahead. Finally, I ordered a couple of these, uh, these thicker sleeves to make sure that I was adequately prepared. I put that bad boy up here. I'm going to get this ready to go. Being super, super careful with your edges. And the ones I bought aren't thick enough. All right. So let's see. I think I bought 130 point. 130 point, uh, and you need a 160. So we'll do we'll do the same thing. I've I've got one over here in my box. 
Uh, we'll go ahead and I'll get this sleeved up for you. I'm getting a notification from my boy on the side that you're looking at about a $500 hit right here. If that holds up, we are looking at back-to-back -back legacy boxes with hits of several hundred dollars. Just phenomenal. With that in mind, I do have two cards left that we need to randomize. We're going to take a real quick look at everything again. One last look at our Kadarius Tony Pink Diamond Cracked Ice number to five. We got two minis, both of them Optichrome, as they should be. Our uh, Mike Vrabel, numbered to 75. Charles Woodson was not numbered. Our four numbered parallels. We got Sean Alexander to 150. Tyreek Hill to 100. Lamar Jackson to 100. And Allen Robinson to 299. We got a couple of Optichrome rookie cards, a Kellen Mond, Zach Wilson under the lights, Pene Sewell, and Jeremiah Owosu Koromoa. And our other auto, awesomely, was also a rookie. So we got two rookie autos in consecutive boxes, this one being Diami Brown, a hit for the Washington football team. Now. For those of you that are still in it, let me go ahead and pull up random.org and I'll pull you over to the computer. We're going to randomize those last two cards. Let's find us some winners. Now, uh, one little change we're going to be making to the randomizers. We're going to start off with our Watt Brothers card. Uh, if you were in a couple of the last breaks, what we would do is we'd start left to right. We'd put Houston on the randomizer and Pittsburgh on the randomizer, and then we'd let it go. And, uh, you know, with like two teams out there, uh, random didn't, it, it was just missing something. So I've decided that what we're going to do from now on with these Generations cards or cards similar to it, we've got two teams that are going for it. We're going to put both teams up there three times. We're going to put Texans, Steelers, Texans, Steelers, Texans, Steelers. Both people got the same amount of chance. We're still reading it left to right. Uh, I brought this up to a couple of people earlier this week. They all thought it sounded like a great idea. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to get this all set up for us. And here we go. Just like normal, we are going to randomize this bad boy four times. Houston to Pitt. Houston to Pitt, and Houston to Pitt. Here we go. That's randomized number one, two, three, and four. Bringing our winner is Houston. Watt Brothers going to Houston. Our second hit is the Kelsey Boys. Jason to the Eagles, Travis to KC, and we're going to do the same thing, three and three. One more time. Randomizing four times. Our fourth randomization goes to Philadelphia. Both cards will go to the man on the left. With that in mind, we have come to our conclusion today. One last time, I want to thank everybody so much for joining us. We had some absolutely phenomenal hits. One more time, let's get a look at this bad boy that's so thick it doesn't fit in a 130-point top loader. Kadarius Tony, Pink, diamond, cracked, ice. Look at that beautiful, beautiful patch. Everybody, I want to thank you so much for joining me today with Prophecy Box Breaks. Uh, it has been my pleasure to serve you and to bring these cards and to live stream and rip these open. Please remember, our next boxes are not going to be Legacy. They are, in fact, going to be Prestige. We've got a team break ending Friday. We've got a random break ending Saturday. Uh, we've gone ahead and threw up a few Buy It Nows for those. Again, like I said, I wanted to make sure I could keep those as low as possible. You'll notice a lot of those Buy It Nows less than 12 bucks, which is super Super, super awesome. If you have any questions along the way, if you have any comments, any concerns, maybe you hate what I do, maybe you love what I do, please 
send me a message, post it in the box break groups, put it in the comments down below, whatever it is, I want to hear from you. If you want to see a certain type of box or a certain type of card get pulled, let me know. I'd love to go out and find those pieces of treasure, bring them in and rip those open for you. For now, it's, uh, it's the end of our time together today. Again, thanks so much for joining me, and I look forward to our next stream of Prophecy Box Breaks. Bye-bye, everyone.